It's official. So El Canelo Alvarez will meet Alfredo Perrangulo March 8th and it will be televised by Showtime Sports. The first fight on the undercard has been announced as well. Canelo's brother Ricardo Alvarez will face undefeated interim WBC lightweight champ Omar Figueroa. What has not been made official is the venue that will host this card. But according to FightNews.com, the MGM Grand is the main venue being considered. Also being brought up to further entice this main event to the general public is whether or not the bout between Saul Canelo Alvarez and Alfredo Perrangulo will be for the 154-pound WBC title that Floyd Mayweather currently holds. The title could be vacated by Floyd Mayweather if Floyd decides to continue his career at 147. If he does vacate this title, according to BoxingScene.com, this fight could end up for that vacant strap. Both these questions are expected to be answered shortly before the media press tour starts. What I am interested in finding out is whether more fights more profile bouts will be added to this card. A title bout between IBF light middleweight champion Carlos Molina and Endis Lani Lara and perhaps WBC and WBA light welterweight champ Danny Garcia versus Lucas Matisse too. Or Danny Garcia versus anyone brave enough from the welterweight division willing to drop down and fight the undefeated champion. Mean more probability of this card landing on pay-per-view. And yeah, the last thing a lot of people want is another fucking $70 pay-per-view card. Especially since we know Khan vs Mayweather will be right around the corner. But I think a pay-per-view with Saul Alvarez headlining against someone not named Floyd Mayweather their loss would be a great way to gauge where Saul Alvarez's pay-per-view drawing power really is at. Let the kid get his feet wet. I mean he's already had 43 pro fights and does not plan to fight past 25 years of age. He wants to get his money and get out and focus perhaps on a TV career in Mexico. And that's just something that I had heard while visiting Alvarez in camp for his last fight versus Floyd Mayweather. And no, I don't say it to sound cool like some of these fuckboys that call themselves scribes. It just is what it is. I mean, why not have Alvarez on pay-per-view? The last fight that he was on got 2.2 million pay-per-view buys. Look at this. The last significant boxing event that was on pay-per-view was Manny Pacquiao versus Brandon Rios, and that did less than 500,000 buys. According to reports, Pacquiao vs. Reels was closer to 475,000 buys. And, and according to certain scribes, those numbers are huge. Huge. Let's go back further. September 15, 2012, Sergio Martinez vs. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. It was heavily promoted. That event also had around 475,000 pay-per-view buys. And oh, oh, it was huge. A successful event according to certain biased reporters. But come on, homie, really? Less than 480,000 buys is huge? Really? Well, I say Alvarez versus Angulo with a solid undercard can destroy both the Martinez versus Chavez and Pacquiao versus Rios numbers. And no, I'm not talking about a million buys or even anything past 750,000 buys. But, but Golden Boy Promotions can make a case that so Alvarez is the number three draw in boxing if he can pull in close to 600,000 buys. And hitting these numbers would open more opportunities for Richard Schaefer of Golden Boy Promotions, who by the way was voted by Sports Illustrated as promoter of 2013 to bring to the table more big money fights for Saul Alvarez, who plans to fight three times in 2014, and bigger money fights for all those deserving Golden Boy Promotions fighters that participate on Alvarez's undercards in the future. Whether or not they decide to go to pay-per-view is something that we will definitely be knowing very soon.